73 Cornucopia Urn. Aero Glass Works Patent Glass Tops. And I call this the last train to Lineborough. <laughs> and it's just a really neat piece of, uh, you know, collectors of these flasks uh, will recognize them as what they are. Where? Okay. Here's, here's a beautiful yeah. piece that you have here. Yeah, too. that's a piece that came out of Taunton, Massachusetts, right off the bottom of the river. So, did you go to school to learn how to do this, or no, did you self-taught? No, I self-taught. Self yeah, self-taught. Okay. Um, I came home one day, made a lampshade out of uh, chunks that I had. Where did you find this? This <laughs> bottle came from this bottle show last year. It was bought for ten dollars. It had a hole in the bottom corner, and the guy was going to throw it away. Instead, I bought it for ten dollars. Now. It's a Granite Glass Company flask from the Granite Glass Works in Stoddard, New Hampshire. If that was whole, that's 800 bucks. But as a piece of art, oh look, 210. Well, that's great because people can take that to their office. They can have it in their home, and yeah. there's many different places that you could uh, have that. And and it would also make a great gift uh, for someone that that was a bottle collector, it, it's very unique, so... Um, yeah, for those who have everything, they don't have one of those. My name is Richard Carney, I'm from Brunswick, Maine, and I have uh, been a bottle diver for 30 years, and for many years of that diving, I left them on the bottom, all the broken shards and the plates and the water. Now I bring these home and I create one-of-a-kind art, like this glass, uh, this wasn't found diving, but it was broken by a bottle guy. Uh, now it becomes something other than what it was. So what I'm looking for is your shards to make art for you. So if you have broken bottles, they don't have to sit on a shelf of shame. They can become one-of-a-kind art. Okay, so if somebody had a really nice bottle, they might even hire you to, to make a piece of artwork for them uh, like that. Absolutely. And I'm always looking to make unique things for people. Okay, so you started at 7 doing the bottle collecting, and uh, you say that you do uh, diving. Now, how did you go from collector and uh, diver to becoming an artist? Well, all the, all, the, all the land bottle diggers drove me underwater. All the dumps in my area had been picked over and scavenged, and uh, the very first dump I did underwater was from the Elms Hotel in uh, Harrison, Maine, 1853 to 1880. And they took all their trash right out onto the ice on the lake. And the debris field was three quarters of a mile long. The very first thing I pulled out of the mud was a uh, Langley's Urban Boot Pickers bottle. Deep, deep green with a giant donut top. I was hooked. So I never went on land again. Well, diving is a lot of fun. I've been diving before, so um, I, I really uh, enjoy that personally myself. So you get enjoyment out of doing it, plus um, well, when you're looking, searching for something, that's really cool too. Well, I sought out big sites, Stoddard Glassworks. Uh, that has been mined underwater for 10 years by me uh, just diving. You get down past the sawdust and there's all kinds of frags. Um, Places like the Lineboro Glassworks, a lot of those people who dug those sites have hoarded up those pieces of glass and I have sought them out. Now I have a lot of that stuff on my arm. Some contact information? Uh, it'd be Richard Carney, Old Bottle Sea Glass of Maine.com, um, Brunswick, Maine. I have a gallery uh, which is open to the public uh, for some of the bigger things. Um, telephone number is 207-729-3140. Okay, so uh, how big of pieces do you do? Um, and, and, and I assume that if somebody brings you something that you will negotiate with them to put a project together? Uh, oh, absolutely, yeah. So. I've, done, uh, I've done big cathedral windows. Um, I did a big arched window out of nothing but Hofstetter. 
just the panels that were embossed and uh, the bases. Uh, something like that was 48 inches long. So it's, it, it's doable. Well, thank you very much for bringing this beautiful display to the Baltimore Antique Bottle Club uh, show. You're welcome. And, and hopefully we see you again next year. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Richard.